Hey everybody, welcome to day number two, okay? We're focusing on our upper body today, alrighty? So we're going literally through everything. We're going through back, chest, biceps, triceps, the whole damn thing. And of course, that's gonna include our core, which is always a plus. All right guys, let's get started. So today you need two sets of dumbbells, or one set of dumbbell, um, you can go heavier if need be, you can go lighter, choice is completely yours, just use something that is functional for your body, okay? So for me, I've got two five pounders, that's more than enough, trust me. <laughs> you can go higher or lower, choice is yours, like I said. All right, let's get into it. So we're gonna grab the dumbbells first, and we're doing our phase one, which is a standing core exercise, okay? So here, we're gonna stay standing, duh placing our weights together, and it's a rotational uppercut here. Sorry, so you wanna keep your weights like so. It's like you curl them up when they stay here. You're gonna rotate and press an uppercut. Rotate, uppercut the other direction. Okay, so we're gonna do that for 30 seconds. Let's do it in three, two, and one. Perfect, try and get 20 reps into these guys, okay? Two arms is one rep, okay, in 30 seconds. So it should be doable. Perfect, really pressing those weights up to the sky. Nice work, 15 seconds. Keeping my knees slightly bent, really pulling up my belly button. Nice work, my legs are definitely wider than my shoulders. And five, four, three, Two, one, fabulous. Next one is a close curl. So you're gonna place the weights together. We're curling them all the way up into our chest, slowly back down to our hips, okay? So we're doing this close curl for 30 seconds. Same thing, making sure that you're standing nice and tall, pulling belly button in, really allowing the weights to move from the elbow down, okay? So I'm not swinging it up at all. <laughs> 15 more seconds. Nice work, slow. And so perfect. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Phase three is always going to be a pulse. So since we're we are doing our biceps in the first set, we're going to pulse those biceps. Okay, keeping the same position, same close curl, going up and down. In three, two, and one. Okay, thirty seconds here. Going one inch up, one inch down. Nice work. Just trying to keep the focus in those thighs. Letting those elbows stay forward as much as you can. Perfect, 10 more seconds. We got this, keep going, yeah. Up, nice. Focusing on that pulse. In three, in two, and one. Woo, beautiful. We're bringing ourselves down to the floor for our hip exercise. That is phase number four. Okay, guys, so you only need one weight for this. You're just going to place it right down in front of your chest, okay? So we're getting into a plank. We're going to do a push-up, two-way front punch, alternating out front front arm, okay? So here we go. My hands are definitely wider than my shoulders, okay? Just a little bit. Feet are as wide as my hips, if not more, okay? I'm going down to push up, pushing the floor away, lifting that weight up, punching. Notice, when I do, let's get started in three, two, one. Notice, when I do my front punch, I'm curling it in, then thrusting it forward, okay? My forearm is always facing the ceiling. See, and press, nice work. So you're hitting more of that bicep when you do that front punch than your shoulder, okay, and that is always a plus. Nice work, keep going. You can also do this push up on the knees. That's fine, trying to lift the knees for that front punch. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one more, finish it off. Bam, nice work, standing up. 
All right, let's go back to the beginning. So we're gonna do that set another time. Let's go. All right, back to your uppercuts, standing core phase one, in three, two, and one. Try and get those 20 reps. Really trying to move, throw my rib cage. My hips, they stay forward. Hips are like headlights, they only go forward. In this case, anyway. <laughs> nice work, 15. Five, four, three, two, one. Ta da! Nice for a close curl. Okay, placing the weights together. Let's go. 20 reps in 30 seconds. In three, two, and one. Nice work. Standing tall. Shoulders wide. Hips are forward. Belly's tucked into the low back. Bending the knees just a little bit. Nice. Okay, eight more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Bam. We are gonna pulse the weights, okay? Let's go in three, two, and one. Just try and get as many as you can in 30 seconds. Nice job. Now I'm really trying to focus on keeping it around that belly button area. All right. Up and down, and elbows are forward. You got it. Keep going. Perfect. Yeah, 10 more seconds. Nice work. Make sure you keep breathing. And five, four, three, Two, one, release. Fabulous. Phase four, let's do our hit. All right, placing one way down in front of your chest. And we're gonna go to our push up to our alternating front crunch. In three, two, one, let's go. And push up. Front punch. Dip that weight over the hand. As you do your front punch. Okay, shifting all the way. Here we go. Push up. Shift onto that hand, and then execute that front punch. Nice work, 10 more seconds. And three, two, one. Finish it off. Nice work. Woo! All right, folks. Set number two. We're gonna focus a bit more on the triceps this time. Okay, so you're gonna grab those weights. First, we're doing our standing core exercise, okay? So it's gonna be a hammer press to a knee drive, and you're gonna do this on one side first. So let's pick the right side. Why not? So you're gonna lift that weight overhead. Other one is just beside your hip. You're gonna pull that elbow down and forward as it comes up to your right knee. Once you get that, that knee drive, you're gonna place them back to where they started, okay? So you're crunching and pressing. Crunching and pressing. Okay, so we're gonna do that 20 times, try and do 20 times in 30 seconds. In three, two, one, let's go. Crunch, creates, nice job. Elbow to knee. Elbow stays forward. Perfect. Nice work, 15. Five, four, Three, two, one, perfect, release, nice job. Okay, we're gonna do some tricep kickbacks. 
Phase two is always either biceps or triceps, since we're switching between the two. This phase is triceps. We're going to lean forward to 45 degrees. Once you're there, you're going to bend the knees a little bit, pull your belly button in, look at the floor. Row those elbows back from here, you're extending with both arms. Tricep release, okay? Three, two, and one. Try 20 reps in 30 seconds. Nice job. Three, two, one. Release. Nice job. Phase three is our pulse. So we're gonna keep that same position. This time we're doing a, I call, like to call these uh, little ski pulses, because it feels like I'm holding two ski pulses. Pulses. Okay. So you're gonna lean forward to 45, keeping your arms straight this time as you pulse up towards your hips. Okay? This is a bit more control. We're really trying to move with the whole arm here as we pulse, okay? In three, two, one, breathing out, let's go. Pulse, pulling those elbows back. Nice job. Perfect. Nice job. Always looking at the floor as you pulse those arms back. And five, four, three, two, one. Slowly bring it down. Nice job. All right, let's go down to the floor. So, fourth phase is always our hit. This time we're not going to use any weights. We're going to use our upper body weight. We're going to get down into a hip raise. So a half dip, hip raise. You're gonna place the hands behind you. I'll turn this way too. Place the hands behind you. You're gonna lift those hips all the way up from this position. You're gonna do a tricep half dip. You're bending the elbows, sending your shoulders forward, dropping your glutes on the floor. See that bend from the elbow down, from the elbow up? That's what you want. So when you flex through and lift those hips, that's your triceps working, okay? So you do one half dip, bam, up. Here you're gonna do a twist and toe tap. So you're gonna lift one leg off the air, lifting the opposite arm off to twist and tap. Bring them down, back to half dip, other side, twist and tap. So you're getting triceps, core, hit here. Let's go in three, two, and one. Half dip, twist and tap, half dip. Twist and tap. Notice how in phase four you're always going to have to shift the weight. Okay, shifting the weight over one hand to one foot, controlling to the other side. Nice job. Press, lift. Nice job. And keep your hips low for that half dip here. Really try to lift them up before you twist and tap. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Back to standing. So here's starting with our first one again, our standing core. We're going to switch sides. Yeah. Starting with your left. Okay. Into three. Hammer press to that knee drive. Two. Placing that foot forward. And one. Let's go. That's it, folks. No pain, no gain. Keep going. Try and keep all that balance on the standing leg. Elbows going directly forward, not to the side. Nice job. Five, four, three, two, one. Release. Perfect. 
Phase two, we're going to do our tricep kick back. All right, let's do this one more time. Leaning forward, three, throwing elbows back, pull bellies in, two, and one. Nice job. Good work, keep going. That's it. Five, four, three, two, one. Release. Nice job. All right, pulses, keeping those arms straight, doing your ski pulses in three. Two, leaning forward, and one, let's go. Pull your belly in. Each time you do any exercise, you want to focus on that core, too. Ten more seconds. Getting those tank top arms ready for the summer. Five, four. Three, two, one, slow release. Excellent. All right, perfect. We're gonna get down to face four. We're doing our half dips. Let's go in five. Half dip to your double twist. In three, two, one, let's go. Nice job. Keep going. Try to keep up with my tempo if you can. So you never stop moving. Five, four, three, two, two, one. Release. Woo! Fabulous. All right, halfway through. So grabbing your weights. Your next one, you're going to spend all the time practically from your knees. You need to fold up a mat to cushion those guys. You get up. Okay, here we go. So we got a kneeling chop. From here, you're going to open those legs past the hip width, okay? You can keep your hips forward, okay? Slightly squeezing the glutes as we chop from left to right. Okay, let's do it in five, four, Keeping weights together, three, two, one. Lift and drop. Other side. Nice work. Slight bend in those elbows, pulling the belly up and in. Nice job. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down and start. You're going to place your knees closer together for this one. We're doing a hammer curl. So you're picking up the weights like so, keeping the arms separate, bringing them down. Making sure the thumb part is facing upwards as you curl, okay? So vertical, not horizontal, vertical. In three, two, one, try and get 20. Nice job. Excellent. 10 more seconds. Keep going, guys. And five, four, three, Two, one, slow release. Fantastic. Okay, next one here, keeping those knees together. We're gonna pulse for 30 seconds. All right, three, two, one, just pulsing. Woo! Going up and down. That's it. Keeping those hips forward, nothing else to help you. <laughs> just those arms. 
Perfect. That's it. Almost there. Ten more seconds. Keep those weights lifted. Elbows forward. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Bring it down. Okay, we are back to the floor. Doing a plank cross curl. So what happens here is you're in plank. You need one weight. Okay, you're gonna pick it up and tap your shoulder, alternating each time. It's like you're doing a curl, but you're in plank. Like the cross curls we do at core, same thing, but it's like, let's do it. In three, in two, plank, let's go. Okay, grab the weight. Tap across towards the shoulder, switch sides. Grab and tap. Nice. That's it. Really try to tap the outside of my shoulder very lightly, okay, I'm still maintaining that control. Excellent. Pulling belly up, shoulders stay lifted. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Bye. That's phase four. Moving back into phase one, let's go to our kneeling chops here. Three, two, one. Place the weights together. Let's go. Lift. Other side. I'm rotating first, then lifting. Rotate, then lift. Nice job. Small elbows, uh, small bend in the elbows, totally fine. Five. Four, three, two, one. Excellent, bringing the knees closer together. All right, moving on, we're gonna do our hammer curls. In three, two, one, here we go. Perfection. Keep those hips forward, the belly's in. Nice job. 15. You got this. Elbows are nice and wide. Five, four, three, two, one. Settle. Pulses in three, two, and one. Going up and down, keeping the same exact posture. If you have a mirror, take a good look. Where am I? Am I nice and straight? My shoulders hunching over? How's my back? How's my core? Lots of things to think about. Even as you're just doing a small, tiny pulse, remember we are moving in a holistic way. So we're focusing on what our entire body is doing in relation to the exercise. Yes. All right, three, two, one. Bring her down. Perfect. Clink, cross, curl. What up? Let's do it. Okay, here we go. Grab that weight. Tapping across to your shoulders in three, two, and one. Shift the weight. Tap. Shift it to the other leg. Tap. Nice work. This is the number one thing for balancing. Shift, ting the weight. How are you going to get to the other side if you can't plant all your center of gravity and your weight over that side? Okay? Always have to think about that too. Where's my center? Always looking for the chest to be right underneath that hand, okay, before I take the weight and curl. Five, four, three, two, one more. Silence. Nice work, guys. Okay, we are almost through. We have one more set to do. So you can grab some water, okay, and then come back to me. So. Gonna unfold this guy because we're going back to standing core. All right. So phase one here is a combo of two. We're doing a fly, okay? Flying, wee, to front raise, okay? You're gonna keep the arms predominantly straight the whole time. 
with a slight exception of a little wing shape when you do your fly, think birdie, okay? And let's get into it. So once you're done drinking your water, grab your weights. Here we go. So same position as triceps, you only need four to 45. Bock is straight, shoulders are back, okay? And you're gonna open the arms to the side, squeezing that upper back to fly. Bring them back to center to do a front raise, okay? Side view, one more time. Fly here, front raise. Okay, always try to keep my chin slightly directed towards my chest, so I'm not cranking it up like that. Let's go, in three, two, and one. One, two, perfect, three, Keep going. Try and get 10 if you can. Nice work. Pulling belly to the back. And five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down. Nice work. All right, you're gonna hate me for this one, woo! But we're doing overhead triceps. So you're gonna grab your weights, place them together, bring them behind your head. So here, legs are wide, okay, hips are forward, my belly's in, okay, my elbows are wide. As I press upwards, I'm not forwards. Notice that the weights are tapping my upper back each time before I extend. Okay, so that, encourages the full range movement of the triceps. There's something we always want to be doing here, okay? Increasing the range of movement, increasing the amount of muscles we use, and it, oh, the amount of fibers that you have. Make sure you have some nice weights that when you put them together, they are stable and like these circled ones. All right, keep on going, guys. We're gonna do this for 20 more seconds. Awesome. Yes, yeah. Beautiful. My elbows are behind my, my temples as much as they can be here. Got 10 more seconds. And five, four, three, two, one. Bring them down for a moment. Excellent. Okay. Next. Next one, we're gonna pulse for 30 seconds. Phase three. Keeping the same position, ha ha, jokes on you. You're gonna pulse them at the halfway point. Okay, so just here, just above your ponytail. Up and down, all right, 30 seconds. Just very little pulses. Woo! Nice work. Five, four, three, two, one, bring it down. That one always kills me, I swear. I don't know. Even as a private trainer, guys, it still works. Like, I'm still a human. All right, next one. Play to a tricep kickback. So our hip here, we're again practicing shifting the weight, okay? That is the name of the game. Shift your weight. Let's do it, okay. So you're gonna do this on the hands here. Shift the weight, row, tricep kickback, switch sides. You get the point. In three, two, one. Here we go. Dropping the hips. Shift, lift, crank it on up. Perfect. That's it, guys. Now I know it's probably super challenging and unmotivating working from home. I know I feel you. But try and put it in your head that you're in a gym, okay? Mind over matter, okay? Get on your cute. Workout outfit, get your favorite mat out, find a place or space that makes you feel open, okay, and you're allowed to, you know, do what you can and sweat and not feel any embarrassment. You got this, girl. Everything is doable. Five, four, three, two, one. Hallelujah. All right, let's do it again. Last time, folks, we got this. Woo! Slap to the front raise. What up? 
And here we go. Okay, standing up, lean forward back to your flies. Bam, front raise. Bam, in, three, two, one. Here we go. Try and get 20. Nice job. And five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. All right, so we're going to do our tricep overhead extension. Let's go for 30 seconds. Woo! Placing it together. Three, two, and one. Nice work. Elbows stay back as you go up. Four, three, two, one. Nice work. Okay, folks, we're gonna pulse next. In three, two, one, let's go. Oh, man. If it's also too much, you can also go to one, okay? One weight. Okay, I'm here with you. I understand how tough these are. Okay, keep on going. Almost through five, four, three, two, one. Hallelujah, you did it, girl. Okay, next one. So dropping down to our plank. Yes, tricep kick back. Get it, last one, here we go. Then you can call it a day. In three, two, one, here we go. Tricep kick back, switch. Keeping those legs wide. Push that weight up, nice work. Pulling belly up and in. Yes. Five, four, three, two, one. Drop that weight. Give yourself a round of applause and a pat on the back, folks, because you are done. You did it. Woo! You made it work for you. I am so proud of you guys. Keep, keep going. We have one more day. Woo! Core to do. Okay, and we gonna do it. We gonna do it real good. So once you're done this program, it's gonna be an awesome time because you can think about all the things that I've taught you throughout this past three days and apply it to the work that you do next. Okay, think about form. Think about control. Okay, I would say those are the most important too. Don't think about weight. You can go heavier at any point once you get stronger and properly incorporate proper form. All right. Big love. All right, guys. Woo, see, so much sweat. All right, I'll see you later. <laughs> Bye.